this video, we'll discuss how to write a literary essay. A good literary essay must cover the topic you are writing about. It needs to include a main idea stated in your thesis that will form its development. It must be organized so that every part contributes something to the reader's understanding of the main idea. There are many steps involved in writing an effective literary essay. Effective literary essays consist of the thesis statement written in the introductory paragraph, the main body supporting paragraphs, and a conclusion. Think of it like a hamburger. The top bun is the introduction, the burger is the supporting information, and the bottom bun is the conclusion. Step one is your pre-writing phase. This step is very important as it is where you will generate your ideas and organize them into a logical structure. So, one, consider and choose your topic carefully. Two, brainstorm by writing down all your ideas about your topic. How will you prove your main idea? What is your main idea? Three, then organize your ideas into a logical structure where one supporting point leads logically to the next supporting point until you prove your main idea. Four, use a graphic organizer called an essay outline. Let's do an example. If you are writing an essay on the relationship between a father and his daughter, as shown in a short story, you might begin by writing down all the different ways the father and daughter interact. In the middle of the concept map, you would identify what you are writing about, the relationship between the father and daughter. Then you would start describing that relationship and their interactions. Now that you have some ideas to describe their relationship, you can formulate your main idea the thesis statement. What are you going to prove? These descriptive words would lead us to believe that there are many sides or facets to a relationship between a father and a daughter. It sounds complicated, doesn't it? Your thesis could then be something like this. There are many aspects that exist in a relationship between a father and a daughter, or the relationship between a father and a daughter can be complicated. Then, you want to organize your brainstorming into a logical outline that will support your thesis statement. Use the essay outline to show the skeleton of the essay. Write down your thesis statement first. Then, decide how to support this thesis. Write down the main ideas from your concept map for each supporting paragraph, and then find support from the text to prove these ideas. Thesis. The relationship between a father and a daughter can be complicated. Paragraph 1. Their relationship is loving. Support. Dad wants the best for his daughter. He saves for her education. He wants to do things with her, so he signs them up for rock climbing lessons. He admires different aspects of her personality, such as her confidence. Paragraph 2. Stressful. Support. The daughter resents dad's interference in her free time and doesn't want to participate in the rock climbing lessons. Paragraph 3. Confusing. Dad doesn't know how to communicate with his teenage daughter. Everything he does is rejected. He asks for help from his female colleagues. Paragraph 4. Supportive. Support. Daughter finally allows dad to attend rock climbing lessons with her, and dad accepts her help in the climb. She leads him up a mountain, and despite the fact he is capable, he allows her this independence. He supports her abilities and confidence. Step 2. Writing your first draft. Now that you have a structure for your essay, you are ready to write the first draft. Using your outline, write a first draft. Don't worry about getting things perfect. You will have a chance to get some feedback and work on editing before you submit your final draft. Remember that your essay should contain a clearly presented central idea 
with relevant facts, supporting details, and clear explanations. Be sure to look over the marking rubric to make sure you have completed all the expectations of your assignment. For example, if you were asked to refer to theme or point of view or setting or even all of them, then you need to make sure that you are discussing theme or point of view or setting or all of them. Step 3. Revising. Personal revision task. Revision is where your writing is taken to the next step. Make sure you have an effective and engaging lead that begins your essay. Watch the video on effective leads. Write three different leads for your piece based on the video you watched. Choose one to use in your piece. 2. Your teacher has given you feedback on one or more items to revise in your writing. You will find those items in the feedback section of your literary essay draft assignment. 3. Return to your first draft to revise based on those comments and any other revisions you might want to make. This is an important part of the writing process and you will be marked on whether or not you were able to make the necessary revisions. Make sure that the organization of the essay is very clear and that your paragraphs flow logically from one supporting idea to the next and lead to a powerful conclusion. Finally, be sure to continue to edit your work. Make the revisions your teacher indicated, but you can always have someone else proofread your essay. Check the editing checklist to confirm you have eliminated all errors. Step 4. Publishing. Once you have revised your first draft based on feedback from your teacher, edited your work for COPS, C-O-P-S, check the rubric to make sure you have included all necessary elements, you are ready to submit your final draft. Submit under the Dropbox Literary Essay Final Draft.